probably comes back and kills us. Get the lead off here. Well guys, I got a bucket full of capelin here now. This is a beef bucket full. And I'm going to cure them. And uh, them cure overnight. And spread them and start drying them tomorrow. And uh, I got some uh, fish salt here. So, I'm hand down the bag here. I'm just going to get... Since it's going to be curing overnight for a while, I'm just going to use one rare handful here like this. And... But I gotta get that root down there and through the cape member. Mix that root through. And I'm gonna get up early, I don't want them carrying too long. Mm -hmm. So all that salt is going all through them. And I'm gonna leave it in the store here. Uh, it was nice and cool. Like I said, I'm going to come back real early in the morning as well. A big bag of cape on here. And I'm going to freeze those. I'm going to freeze them and uh, take them back to Goose Bay. And then later on in the fall, I could have them fresh. Or I could cure them and dry them. Or I could smoke them. So like this uh, gives me a lot of options with them. And then all I'm going to do, I don't have near proper drying rack here, so... I'm just going to spread them right on the patio. Okay. I'll just keep spreading and spreading, you know, until I get them all out of the bucket. I'll spread them along here. I'll spread them along there. I'll spread them over there. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of cape in this book. Little fella loves the... Uh, little fella loves roasting cape on, so... We'll have a lot now, we'll have enough for a couple of years. If the cape don't land here, or I'm busy or whatever, uh, next year, it doesn't matter. We'll still have joy cape. I gotta guard them for a little while, keep making sure it keeps the, the blue ass flies off them. You can see it is only here for about an hour or so now, it's already starting to dry a little bit. Got a little onshore wind here. When you're drawing capelin, uh, capelin to dry, you know, the moisture gotta come out of the capelin. When you move them like a little bit, you see there's a bit of moisture underneath. So, what I do is I haul them out like that after they dry and, and stiffen up a little bit. Because I don't have like a proper drying rack, so. To do it this way now. So this will help uh, you can see the garden moisture left behind is coming out the capelin. And now the air you get it around and dry him a little quicker. And you want to move a little bit anyway because if not you could kind of stick on a little bit. So should just give it a bit more air. Okay? And you can see that it's kind of wet underneath. I guess that's a project later on, make a real nice uh, drawing rack. So, so good. The ones you buy from the store normally they're like a, a, a bit too salty.
see that they're all like they're dried a little bit now, so now you can clear all that moisture that's on the table there now to come out of them. this now so that I could uh, you know go do a bit of work and won't have to worry with uh, too much flies getting at them. Coming towards the evening now I'm gonna put them in the box for a night, put them inside and uh, bring them out again in the morning. after one day of drying. Today I'll probably put them in the freezer for now. So I gotta try to clue some stuff up and oh, it smells so good. I can't wait to try them because I make sure well I know one thing for sure, they won't be as salty as the ones you buy. I just hope they ain't too fresh. I think they're gonna be alright, but I'd like to try one just to know for sure. I tell you, that's gonna be like a bag of candy to a little fella because he loves rolls and tape and uh, I bet I'll see he many times through the winter night machine uh roasting up a field. So and later on too, you know, uh, some of the fresh ones that I got frozen, and I'll take, I may take some of those out and cure them and dry some of those. I'm going to smoke some. And some will just eat fresh. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think. Now, yeah, well, uh, I guess that's it for this one though. Uh, really appreciate y'all watching. Take care. All the best from the big land. Feels like a little kid just getting back from trick or treating. Big bags of candy. Mm mm mm. Look at that. Amazing. <laughs>